Hey guys, Dr. Mustache here with the Pet Collectors Pet Lab. And today, we're talking about something near and dear to my heart, and nearer and dearer to my face. We're talking about whiskers. And while my whiskers do really cool stuff like trapping beer and tickling my nostrils and giving me an excuse to do evil, cats have really useful whiskers. So that's our question today on Pet Lab. What's up with whiskers? A cat's whisker is not just a longer, thicker hair than the rest of its fur, it's like a Swiss Army knife. It's a tool that lets your cat do a lot of different tasks. Your cat's whiskers serve multiple functions. They help your cat see and sense their surroundings in the dark and at night, feel things up close, know which way the wind is blowing, know where prey is in relation to their paws, and communicate to others how they're feeling. Whiskers have much more sensory information than the rest of a cat's fur because there are many more nerve endings at the base of a cat's whisker than there are anywhere else in its body. Let's do a little experiment. Take two coins and put them on a table. Now, if you feel the coins with your elbow, you know you're feeling something, but you're not really sure what it is. However, if we feel the coins with our fingers, we can tell from the edges and the surface the difference between a quarter and a nickel. Whiskers are located in a few different locations around a cat's body, but let's start with the place we all think of first, around the nose. Cats have 24 whiskers around their nose, 12 on either side. These aren't the only whiskers on a cat's face, though. Cats also have whiskers above their eyes and on their chin. Cats' facial whiskers are usually about the width of their entire body. This allows cats to gauge whether or not their entire body will fit through a small opening. The whiskers on cats' faces also help with their night vision, by allowing them to feel the air currents around them. Cats can actually feel when objects pass between them and the wind. Cats also have whiskers on the back of their paws, which helps them close in on their prey. See, cats are farsighted, which helps them hunt, but it means that when they get close, they really have a hard time seeing. So the whiskers on the back of their paws lets them feel the air currents as their prey is in close and rustling around. Lets them really pounce. So how do cats have hair that helps them see in the dark and do all this amazing stuff and my hair just gets frizzy when it rains. Well, two scientists, Eric Kramer and Chris Michael Williams, have done studies on whiskers and discovered that they're super strong and really elastic. Basically, cats evolved some of their hair to be extremely sensitive to help them with their hunting. It's sort of a survival advantage. This is the way that human beings develop thumbs to help us use tools. Whiskers have been indirectly helping humans for centuries ever since the ancient Egyptians first domesticated cats. Now scientists are studying how whisker technology can help us improve our lives today. Bristol Robotics Lab recently led a study where they essentially gave robots whiskers to help them navigate their space without the aid of cameras. Hopefully when the robotic cats become our benevolent overlords, they will be easily placated with virtual balls of string. Well, that's it for me, Dr. Mustache, and another episode of Pet Lab. Remember, if you have a question about your pet, or pets in general, leave it in a comment below, and maybe we'll feature it in a future episode of Pet Lab. Meanwhile, since you're here, why not click that button and subscribe to the Pet Collective? It's a fantastic site with all sorts of videos of 24-7 puppy cams and adorable music videos featuring animals, and me, Dr. Mustache, answering all of your questions about pets.